Hey guys, and welcome to my play own farm guide for 2020. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. To get started at play own farms, you require level 17 farming and level 20 construction. To start, teleport to the R doing lodestone and talk to Granny and complete the little mini quest slash tutorial. After this, you'll get full access to the player owned farm. Now, after the tutorial, you will only have access to a small and breeding pen. To unlock the other pens, you'll have to buy them with beans from the farmer's market. You can obtain beans by selling your animals to the farmer market or the sellers located at the manor farm. Pens are constructed using planks and nails. The larger the pen, the higher tier of plank and nails you need to use to construct it. The required construction level for each of the pens can actually be boosted or assisted by a high level player. On screen now are all the useful things you want to buy if you want to get your mana farm set up correctly for experience. You want a small pen 2 deed, medium pen 1 and 2, large pen 1 and 2, the ability to have animals breed in small to large pens, costing 1, 3 or 7,000 beans depending on which pen type you buy it for, and the storm barn deeds which will set you back 5,000 beans or more depending on if you upgrade it or not, where you can store your animals in if you do not have the space in your bank. Very useful. Now how exactly do you obtain animals? Well first of all you can buy certain animals like sheep and cows from the farmer's market aka from Granny, the NPC. Or you can receive the animals from a drop, for example when you kill rabbits you have a chance to get rabbits, spiders, spiders of course, you can get dragon eggs from killing dragons including KBD and QBD and with chinchompas if you're hunting chinchompas you have a chance to find chinchompas as well. And finally you can also buy animals from other players or on the player owned farm trading discord which I'll leave in the description below. If you're buying animals from other players try to use the manor farm in world 2. Now since the nerf you actually need to feed your animals in the player owned farm and the ranch out of time. One piece of food is eaten per animal in any pen per hour, doesn't matter if it's a small or large pen. One piece of food actually increases the animal's happiness and health by 5 to 9%. Higher happiness and health means more experience when you actually go ahead and collect your produce. The maximum amount of time to get an animal from 0% happiness to 100% is about 20 hours. Now let's talk a little more about happiness. Happiness of the animal depends on if the animal is being fed like I just said. Lower happiness means lower breeding chances and lower gathering experience, though not lower gathered produce. Items can be force fed to actually increase the animal's happiness if you end up finding your animal with a lower happiness percentage than you actually want because you want more experience. You can use items like strawberry milk or vanilla milk which you can get from these special cows or buy off the grand exchange if you're a regular player or alternatively make honeycombs to boost happiness, the delicious ones to be more specific. You can make these by adding marigolds to the beehives in the player owned farm. Then every hour you will receive one delicious honeycomb, although you have to gather them every time. So I suggest putting a lot of marigolds in, then waiting about 24 hours and gathering all the delicious honeycombs you will ever need. But to gather from the honeycombs you do actually need an insect repellent which you can get from the farmer NPC very close nearby the Cafferbly Lodestone. The thing is though, if your animal is diseased you cannot force feed them items to increase their happiness, so you first have to cure the disease. It's easily done by looking at this image from the wiki page and looking for resemblances in every disease cure in a horizontal fashion. And then curing the animal with the right cure. Now every time you gather experience from your animals you get a set amount of produce. This produce does not recharge and once your animal reaches elder you will never ever be able to get produce from that animal again. Produce nowadays isn't really that expensive and you won't really be able to make that much money but with the royal dragons you do have a chance to get a draconic visage. Which is worth some money. So what exactly should you be growing for experience? When you're small pen level 17 to 28 farming you want to be doing rabbits and these give you a total of 250 experience from baby to elder. This is only at 100% happiness though so don't forget to feed your animals and this will take you around one hour. From levels 28 to 54 you're going to be training on chickens and these give you 1250 total experience at 100% happiness and they take 4 hours and 10 minutes to grow from baby to elder. After level 54 you're going to be doing chin chompas all the way to 99 or 120 if you want to keep doing your small pens which give you 1500 total experience per chin chompa and they take 42 hours to grow from baby to elder. 
In the medium pen from levels 35 to 64, you want to be doing sheep. These give you 625 total experience at 100% happiness, and they take two hours to grow to elder. Level 64 to 81 you want to be doing spiders which give you a whopping 10,000 experience per spider at 100% happiness and they take around 25 hours so a day to grow to elder. And at level 81 plus you're going to be doing zygomites which give you a whopping 40,000 total experience at 100% happiness and they take about 3.5 days or 84 hours to grow to elder. In the large pen, you're going to be doing cows from levels 49 to 71, which give 2,500 total experience, and they take 6 hours to grow. Level 71 to 92, you're going to be doing yaks, which give 32,500 total experience, and they take 67 hours to grow. And finally, at level 92, the big one, dragons. You can get these in your pen, and they give 100,000 experience per dragon if they are at 100% happiness, and they take about a week or 168 hours to grow. And these are the best animals you can put in your player-owned farm. Now, if you want to gain the maximum amount of experience every week, you want to have two times six baby chin chompers, so six baby chin chompers in each of your small pens. You can buy these from other players. You want to have four baby zygomites in both of your medium pens, so eight baby zygomites. And for your dragons, if you want to get the most amount of experience, you want to have four baby dragons in your breeding pen, three in your large pen one, and another three in your other large pen to have ten dragons total. Of course, to keep your animals' happiness and health high, you need to feed them. Feed your chinchompa seeds because these are especially cheap, stuff like onion seeds, poison ivy, redberry seeds, jangerberry seeds, etc. As for your zygomites, you need to feed them mushrooms, which are a little expensive, tomb shrooms, mortmire fungus, and stuff like that. And for your dragons, you want to feed them cheap fish or meat, even though sometimes fish really isn't that cheap. You want to feed them leaping trout or salmon, raw swordfish, raw desert soles, stuff that is fished quite often. So with that boosts or earned, you could potentially get, if you interchange your animals perfectly and you give them food and they're 100% happiness all the time, 720,000 experience per week from your chinchompas, 640,000 experience a week from your zygomites, and a million experience a week from your dragons, which is a total of 2.36 million experience per week, or 9.44 million experience a month. Which is what about you should be getting with your ranch out of time if you're 120 farming as well. So potentially you could be getting almost 20 million farming experience per month if you did your player own farm and ranch out of time perfectly. By the way, if you need a ranch guide, I'll leave one in the description below if you're interested. Also, just a friendly reminder, scooping your dragon poop is actually pretty good experience. Just so you know. If you buy a farm totem from the farming reward shop for 200 beans and add it to your pen, you can actually get perks for the amount of animals you have in each pen. These perks are now listed on screen. I'd say the nope nope no nope perk is pretty good as you get 3% extra damage against a Raxor. And there's a couple of useful other ones as well. Another useful thing are the farmhands. Now the regular ones can be bought with beans and require beans to use and these can actually keep your animals at adolescent, which is the stage where they're worth the most amount of beans, assuming they're healthy and all that. So if you want to farm beans for the outfit or other rewards, you can do that. Now you also have the collector farmhand which stores excess babies from your beading pen if it's full as unchecked animals and this is incredibly useful if you go AFK or you just don't play RuneScape for a long period of time. You have a lot of unchecked babies which is great. And the trapper farmhand is probably one of the more useful ones if you're low on beans or if you're an Ironman account because you can send him off every six hours for a handful of beans and he will come back with a random animal for your play owned farm. That's perfect. And with that being said, I have covered most of the information you need to know to get started on your play-owned farm. Of course, if you use a self-sufficient farm, you will have less experience than I stated in this video with the most optimal setup, but still you'll be getting a lot of experience and play-owned farm still is pretty easy. And if you're using farming urns and other boosts, you can still get a hefty chunk of experience every week. If you're interested in the Play Own Farms V2 or 2.0, aka the Ranch Out of Time, I have a guide for that I will link in the description below. I still plan to make some other Play Own Farm related guides in the future. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. Catch you guys later. Peace.